go? Yeah. Yeah. You ready to go? All right. Ready to go. 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 Hallelujah. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I enjoy this church. Hallelujah. I enjoy the music. Hallelujah. You know, there's a lot of churches. You know, sing a song a couple times, and I'm trying to find out what the words are. Yeah. By the time I get two verses in, why they quit? Yeah. 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 And then they'll sing that song again for the next four weeks, or five weeks. Listen, by the time we got done with those two songs tonight, Great God. not only did I know the words, but the Spirit of God. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Inside. <laughs> Not that the Spirit of God wasn't inside, oh, but the, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woke up. Stirred it Filled up. Filled up a little bit more. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm privileged. I count it a, a, a big privilege to stand here in front of this altar. Bless you, Lord. To. Stand in the pulpit of Brother Amen. Amen. I enjoy fellowship with Pastor Lonnie. Hallelujah. <coughs> John Henry. You know how I remember John Henry's name? <laughs> that was my father's name. <laughs> John Henry. Say, I'll say this much. I didn't get, I haven't got the clear word. But I know God wants to do oh, hallelujah. some miracle tonight. Oh, Amen. 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 God Praise wants to touch some hearts tonight. Oh, Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. I, Praise I get Lord. the word, I get the word impression. But I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to say anything except just that. You can you can receive the implanted word of God. Oh yes, Amen. Right where you're set. Oh right, the impression you don't have to have depression. That's right, Amen. 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 I found out when when uh, uh, when I was younger in the Lord. Five, six years old, maybe. Went into depression. Nobody loves me. Oh. Nobody cares about me. I'm no good. Oh, come on. And you know what? The more I talked, the worse I further come. down I went. Uh -huh. That's right. All right. And my blessed boy, I'm going to. I'm going to share a little bit about my wife tonight. 40, 52 and a half years. Hallelujah. We went together three years before we got married. But my blessed wife would come over and she'd say, David, that's not true. No. And she'd pump me full of the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, and she'd get me, get me to the point where I go, uh, 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 Depression, uh -huh. I wouldn't go into it. 
So we walk go further and I'd laugh with her and she'd laugh with me and finally, finally she'd laugh. God. You know what happened? Brought her right back up. Oh yeah, great God. The joy, listen, the joy of the Lord. The, the joy, joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of times we don't do like Brother said tonight. Yeah. We don't sit there and praise the Lord. We don't stand there and praise the Lord. Come on, no. come on, brother. Come on. We go down in. We go down in it, and then then we want somebody <laughs> to grab a hold of our hand and pity us. Oh, come on, come on, brother. Don't oh, oh, I want me. somebody to feel sorry for me. <laughs> well, there's only one person going to feel sorry for you, and that's the devil. That's right. And and we're going to have to have to make a a decision of whether we want to keep company with the devil uh -huh. or we want to keep company with the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 You're right. Amen. 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 I said all of that just to kind of say it's a good introduction. But I want you to know something tonight. My wife and I got saved in 1970. Same time same place, same meeting. I thank God for one thing, that the church that we grew up in didn't know anything about the Holy Spirit. In fact, didn't know anything about it. <laughs> really didn't know anything about anything. <laughs> it was a shame, man. It was a shame. This lady says, this lady says, well, I'll tell you what, when you get saved, you'll hear the angels singing. You know, that kept me out of seven for 18 years. Absolutely. I will wait to hear the angels sing. They didn't know anything about the Holy Ghost. So we didn't have to unlearn anything. Mm. I thank God for that. All right, praise God. Amen. Yes. My wife and I got filled with the Holy Spirit in '71. <coughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Started, started serving the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. We was on a farm, and I got my schooling out behind the barn. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> When we she she had back problems. Went to a chiropractor uh, two times, one time a week, two times a week. We got saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, and started finding out that that uh, uh, God would heal us. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise God! And We'd pray for her, and and the pain would go away. But a couple, three days, he'd come back. We'd pray for her, and he'd come back. We'd pray for her, and he'd come back. One night, we went to a full gospel meeting. The lady called. The speaker called my wife up, and he said to her, "He says, he says, listen, he says, you can't." heal a demon. 
and you can't cast out a sickness. No, he said, don't pray for her back because she isn't sick. She's got a spirit of infirmity on her. You know, when you get the right answer, then you know why the blood's crying out. Amen. Yes. Uh -huh. The blood's still crying out. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Amen. Still the need. Amen. Amen. My wife, my wife's back was crying out. And we didn't know. But bless God, God sent us a person from England. <coughs> We started casting out that infirm spirit on her back. And she didn't have back problems. Never went to a chiropractor again. say things in an argument that nobody would say to anybody else. And we would say things that would hurt our spirit. She would say things that would, would wound my spirit. And I couldn't do anything but cry. And then I would say things that would hurt her spirit. You know what we found out? We found out that if we stopped the hurting, stopped the arguing, we wouldn't wound each other's spirit. Did it, did it happen overnight? No, but it, it, it didn't happen soon enough. But I'll tell you what, it did happen. It happened. Oh, pray God. We got to the point, we got to the point where because of, we, of the love that we had for each other and the, and the respect and honor and the Holy Spirit for each other, that when, when we would start to argue, we would stop. We just wouldn't say it. Thank you, Lord. We just wouldn't say it. Amen. That's got to be Just kind of trying to pick out a, uh, a year, it doesn't matter the year. About 94, God started waking me up. Praise God. I wake up about 11 30 at night. And I get up and walk the floor. Pray in the Spirit. Walk the floor until about four in the morning. When you go to sleep, summers after nine, ten months of that, a pastor friend of mine come and visit. He had a Bible school. He was an office campus Bible school from Cedar Springs, accredited. And he 
come to me and he says, Pastor West, he says, would you like that Bible school? He says, I feel I'm supposed to give it to you. <coughs> I received that Bible college, that Bible school. I started making syllabuses, teachings. I wrote all the syllabuses, all the teachings. We start out in the first foundation lesson with the fruit of the spirit. It's one of the one of the longer lessons we have. Church, if you don't have the fruit of the spirit, right. you don't have nothing. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. And you know what? We can have the fruit of the Spirit. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. We receive the fruit of the Spirit when we get born again. Uh -huh. Only problem is, sometimes, like Pastor said, we don't we don't shut our mouth long enough to let it let it out. All right. Amen. All right. You Amen. see, you see, listen. If you don't pick up anything else I say, pick this up. We, we can't we can't continually jabber, 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 jabber uh, and have the fruit of the Spirit. That's right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You're going to have to... I had one person in our church, and this dear lady, she come to me and she said, Pastor, she says, I got this problem. How do I get over it? I said, Jane, shut your mouth. <laughs> Amen. I said, just shut your mouth. Got, got to a point where she'd bring, she'd say, she'd say, Pastor, she said, I got this problem. She said, how are you going? Oh, she said, I know, just shut my mouth. <laughs> We don't, we don't have to be saying something all the time. Right. Amen. Usually, if we're saying something all the time, we don't want anything. Amen. It's not, it's not spirit and it's not life anymore. It's just chamber. We touch every, we touch every subject in the Bible. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. I'm big on, I'm big on reading the Bible. I don't, I don't, I don't give, I don't give you a whole lot of books to read. If you don't know what this says, all right, it don't make a bit of difference what some book says. That's yes. right, Amen. 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 If you, if you read this, New Testament, eight chapters a day, you'll read the New Testament in one month. In one year, you've read the New Testament 12 times. That isn't even enough to even get acquainted with it. <coughs> Trust me, that's not enough to even get acquainted with it. Right. In four years, you've read it 50 times. Now you're beginning to get acquainted with uh -huh. I've taken the New Testament Matthew through Revelation, with the exception of Acts and and, uh, and, and Romans, I wrote a, I wrote the every the every Praise verse, God. every verse, and then I asked the question, what did the verse say? You see, you see, God just didn't put verses in here just for filler. <laughs> right, hey man. He put it in there because it says something. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. and, and, and and you and I are supposed to do what it says. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. No. Praise God. Praise God. As things work out, we're going to have Bible school. Praise God. Okay. 
Now, the, 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 the problem, the, the program, it isn't the degrees. Now, we give a bachelor's degree, master's degree, and doctor's degree, but that's not the program. The program is information. Oh, yeah. I'm a how-to person. <coughs> Unless there's, there's a way to do it, mm -hmm. and God tells you right here okay. how to do it. Amen. Amen. We sat in a hospital waiting room, and we went up to a, a gentleman who gave an operation. About 8.30 in the morning, my wife had a stroke. Right there, right there, right there in the middle of everybody, in front of everybody. I said, No, in the name of Jesus, I said, Stroke, you're not coming on my wife. And I spoke out. It really didn't make any difference to me what anybody thought. I'm talking about my wife. Praise God. Ain't no devil going to get on my wife if I can keep it. All right. found out that that was on a Thursday. She had a headache in the back of her neck. She couldn't get rid of the headache. We couldn't get rid of it. Didn't know what it was. Didn't know all I know is what we prayed. Went into the hospital and the doctor, the doctor says she shouldn't talk. Shouldn't walk. Her bladder shouldn't work. Her bowels didn't, shouldn't work. It took the whole uh, center part of her brain, took the front part of the, or the back part of the front, and the front part of the back. Sunday morning in church, we had prayer. I told the doctor, I says, don't worry about it. I says, we're going to have a new, uh, she's going to get a new brain Sunday morning. Oh, you can't do that. <laughs> I said, well, I said, I can't, but God can. Oh, Amen. praise God. He's led. He's led. That Sunday morning, she got a new brain. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sunday night, her and I run down the aisle. Hallelujah. Praise God. She talked. Praise God. She played the piano. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. She was that way. Now, I don't I don't understand a whole lot of things. All I know is is what my wife was to me. Two thousand and one. She suffered another stroke. Ended up taking her to the hospital. <laughs> she couldn't talk. She couldn't swallow. Her left side was was gone. Her bladder was gone. Her bowels didn't work. Her eyes her eye, couldn't see. I said, when can I take her home? Well, he says, she, you gotta, she, she's got to be able to swallow and, and eat. And her bladder got to work. I said, well, I said, let's get her up and let's get her going. <coughs> We're praying. We're praying. We took her out of the hospital that afternoon. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. She could eat. She could swallow. 
Yeah. Her bladder works. Her bowel works. Yeah. Her her left side was not too bad. In a year and three months with therapy, she was walking with a cane. Walking by herself. Going to the bathroom by herself. And we had we had so much fun. We had so much fun. It was, a, it was just like we 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 had we had, we had gotten born again again with each other. We, uh, <coughs> no, <coughs> excuse me a little bit. You know, uh, if 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 I get a little bit, uh, whatever, I just forgive me. But we had a lot of fun. And so, so she started to get up out of the chair, you know, and she started to get up out of the chair while she uh, had a little gas. <laughs> she toot her horn a little bit. And I said, what's that? She says, she says, that's my booster. <laughs> and we laughed. Take her out to get her in a pickup and, and, and a, I turn around and set her down and 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 then get her feet up and push her push her into the pickup. And I say, Grandma, for crying out loud, you're laying down on a job. Get up. And then we laugh and we just had a good time. Yeah. That's good. Praise God. Amen. 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 Two thousand and five, October. She had another one. We walked a mile that morning. She came out of the hospital, or, or in the hospital, and she laid there. Nothing. She couldn't move anything. She blinked her eyes a little bit. Couldn't see, couldn't swallow, couldn't talk. Doctor put a feeding tube in her. He took her home. By the time we got home in four days, she was she was everything but sound coming out. And we had a good time. From that time on. Until 2010, she was totally wheelchair, but we had fun. Thank you, Father. I'm telling Praise you something, God. Church. You don't have Praise to God. have a bad marriage. That's right. Lay All you got to do is mm -hmm. laugh a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All you've got to do is rejoice a little bit. Yes. Yes. All you've got to do is, 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 is let your love flow. She talked like this. Testimony of faith. Praise you. Amen. God, I love you. I say, uh, you know, we, we'd sit there, we'd sit down, down here in, the, in, the, in there, and she'd say, I said, I said, you mean you want to go for a walk around the park? And that's the way we talk. God is good. Praise God. That's the way we talk. Praise the Lord. Brother, Dr. West, I want to pray for you uh, tonight before you. Thank you. Uh, Brother Rhodes and I want to pray for you. I want to just finish this. Just, just, just okay? Is that all right? I want to pray for you. I'm just about, I'm just about there. In December 22, 2009, she had another stroke. Completely immovable. She could blink her eyes, that was it. And we had fun. We enjoyed each other. Amen. Oh, my son.
son, followed my son down the latter part of February. He come and picked us up and took us up. No. We got down there, down there, and on Tuesday night, she got to see Chuck and Kim and the kids. Wednesday night, she got to see Doug and, and Laura. That's her other boy. Thursday night, <coughs> she got to see Greg and Cindy. About 2 o'clock in the morning, Friday morning, I woke up and the glory of God just filled that place. Oh, right. Just filled that place. It was indescribable. Praise the Lord. We woke up that morning. Hospice nurse come, cleaned her all up. Eleven o'clock that morning. She got to see Jesus. Well, thank you, Father. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen. If there isn't anything in the world that I would give for those experiences. Right. Nothing. 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 Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.